Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to use the physical materials to create a target. When you shoot it, you'll get different scores from the different parts of the actual target. So the inner and the outer have different scores. Now, you might have noticed that wasn't actually working there. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is how to import the mesh. Uh, and then we will we'll see it working. So I've imported this mesh. And the first thing is, you've actually got to create the mesh uh, into separate parts. So you can actually assign different materials to it. And you can see here that... There's the inner bit, so the bullseye, the midsection and the outer section, and on each of those I've assigned different materials, and you can just create them in your 3D package, but remember this is not one texture or material, this is multiple materials applied to different sections, that's the first little thing that you must be made aware of. And the reason that the score is coming up as like 20 every time uh, is because in this mesh, one thing you should do when you're setting up this scene is go down and one of the settings here is collision complexity and you'll notice that there's a basic collision mesh there at the moment, which is standard if you're making static mesh. Change this to use complex collision as simple. And even though your collision will disappear, don't worry about that, just save it. That is now set up, so this will actually work correctly. The next thing you want to do is come into this edit here and go to project settings. And in project settings, you've got lots of information about how your project set up. And the one we're looking for is physics, so scroll down, click physics. Scroll down and you'll see the physical surface which we're going to use. And you want to just give these a suitable name here. I've used high damage, mid damage, low damage. Now you've set those up, you want to create the actual physical material properties um, that you can then select inside your material. So right click go down to physics again and there's physical material and for those I've created low, high and mid damage and in there now you set these up just go into the surface type and select the one that you want to be used for that material uh, or physics type so once you've done that and while we're in there just to say this is also used if you want to give your surface different sort of parameters and sounds. Say if you're running over it, you might want it to be having a different sound from if you're running on a metal surface. And you can do that with this. Um, and you can also set things like friction. So if you've got a slippy eye surface, you can set, set it in there. That's sort of an additional thing. You might find this useful for. So I've got my material that applied to my mesh target, my target mesh even, uh, if that makes any sense. So this thing here. So for my bullseye, if you look in here, I made this the high damage one, so the one that gives you the most points. So it's just the physical material drop down. Now that they've been created, just select it. And as you see, I've got a middle and an outer, and they're sort of similar mid damage in there, and the outer have below damage. And they're just different colours, and I gave it a little bit of a normal map to make it a little bit like sort of noisy on the surface when you're actually close to it, not to make it completely flat, basically. I'll just agree to that. I've just imported this project from a different computer, so that's why it's playing a little bit but it all 
is still working. So when we set up that uh, setting on the mesh earlier, and I said that's what was giving us different scores. If we go into it now, you should be able to see this. Now I'm getting 10 when I'm hitting the outer, 20 when I'm hitting the mid central one, and the centre bullseye it's 40. I'm not just going to go through how to do the scoring system, all I'm just going to do is show you how effectively I set that up in brief. So once you have your event hit, what you can do is you can have a switch on e physical services, and now we've got them created. They should appear here. If you've not done all those previous steps, you might not get this when you look for it. So if I do this switch on e physical surface, they should already be listed. It might be that they're hidden and you just need to click the down arrow, but they should definitely be in there if you create them. If you if you don't see them in this list these lists at all, you've forgotten to do one of those previous steps. Or we've done them incorrectly anyway. So this is just easy now because you can select the damage types that you created yourself. And as you've named them and you know what the materials relate to. I've just set these things in mind that are multipliers. So I've got basically a basic score that is the 10 and I multiply it when it gets hit. So I'm multiplying by 1 here, 2 here to get 20, and 4 here to get 40. And then I set it and I basically display the score and you can have it I've just put it into a string key, see so I've set it, and it comes out, and you can just print it to a string, but I've also got that effect where it's actually printing the number when you're hitting the surface of the target. But that basically covers it, and if you do that, you should be well on the way to creating a similar target in your own game. And thanks for watching, and I'll See you next time.